So what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another video. I am celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be getting into a post-processing PPE that is a post-processing explain. I'm going to be telling you guys how I got these results. So right now we're going to jump right into it and we're starting off with uh, you know diminishing and removing the hair, the stray hairs that are in the image. So what I did to get this result is go around in the actual uh, clone stamp tool, set the opacity to minimum. Sometimes I'll work with 50%, sometimes I'll work on 20%, just depending on how, um, you know, how much of the hair that I can actually see within the image. But I'll go in and I will move that to a kind of um, mid-grade, maybe like 50% to about 20% and start removing some of these stray hairs. So I went right back in after I used the clone stamp tool and started to use the um, spot heel tool to just go in and get those little stray hairs that the the light for, uh, that the light catched on this image right here. It's definitely important, I say, to edit for the billboard in my perspective. What do I mean by that? Going in and actually zooming in on the image, you know, to see uh, some of the detail as if the image was going to be blown up on a major platform. Um, what you, you know, you if you just edit at, well, with me, I like to edit at that point because it starts to give me, you know, an overview of things that I need to see in a greater perspective to, uh, you know, just get a cleaner image. So you definitely want to pay attention to zooming in and actually zooming out of the image so that you can start seeing, uh, you know, perspective of what you're editing. All right, one second. So we're going to go right back into that spot heel and start getting these blemishes that are on the forehead, cleaning them up. When working in Photoshop, and especially when using Retouching Academy, one thing I want you guys to definitely be clear on is that Retouching Academy is a tool like Photoshop is a tool. It's not a, uh, you know, like all be all that it fix every single problem, but it helps to navigate your workflow, it helps to clean things up. So right now I'm going to zoom out and then zoom right back in just to see a quick overview of the before and after of what I did and get back into that hair. But you definitely want to make sure when you're doing that skin retouching, you want to get a clean base to the image, getting all those skin imperfections out um, and just, you know, letting Retouch Academy do what it does best with this frequency separation and the... Uh, you know, digital skin texture and the, also the skin pigmentation uh, tool that's in there. So we're going to just get around the eyes and things like that. Zoom in, getting all that detail. And then we're also going to go in in a little while and remove that nose ring as well. Zoom back out for you so you can see what's going on. I want to uh, also remove with the background. It was a leather background. So being that it was fold up, in a box, um, you know, it kind of is inconsistency, inconsistent within the texture of the backdrop. But as you can see right now, we just, you know, went in and cropped as well. Cropping is important. Cropping gives a different perspective of the story. So right now we're going into Retouching Academy and using the frequency separation tool to navigate. I'm going to select my mix brush. And start going in and cleaning up that skin. And I always do 16 bit, and then I go in, maybe set it towards 9 or 14. But you can see on this image right here how it came out from using that frequency separation. Just a quick overview. And then we're gonna go in and keep you know cleaning up that skin. And as you can see a little bit throughout the vid video, how the skin is changing, uh, you know, as I'm brushing with that frequency separation la layer with the mix brush I have my mix tools uh, with the wet setup at you know set um, you know one thing seven percent and then I'll have you know flow and all these other things that go into it at a different percentage as well but here's a quick overview of a quick before and after so you can see alright so we're gonna flatten that layer and then we're going to go right into the image with the digital skin texture. Now we're going to start just lightly brushing across the image. And as you can see, detail and uh, just a different look of the image is going to start, you know, taking place. What I love about the uh, skin detail um, brush is that it allows you to 
actually like sup to suppress the imperfections in the skin as well, but it doesn't remove what you're actually going after. Get around this chin a little bit, around the lip. Just moving around, getting all the detail in. See how it's cleaning it up a bit more. Now what I'm going to do is go back into the clone stamp tool and go into lighten and then use a low opacity to start cleaning up under the eye, lightening things up, but it's still keeping that same skin texture that I want within the image. Detail and timing is so important when it comes to retouching. If you think that you're gonna get a great image by you know just hurrying along and just trying to get it done, it's not gonna end up well, so make sure you spend time on retouching in the image. So I'm just going to go around and keep, you know, cleaning up the details with the digital skin texture tool. And then also, you know, dodging and burning, giving the uh, image a little bit of dimension as well. Keeping with all the detail. Zoom in, see what we have, and now we're going to sharpen. So as you can see, you see when I just put that sharpen on, it just brought the image out a little bit more. I'm going to maybe put it at, what, 50, 7, 50%, just so that it's not that strong. All right, let's see what we're doing. Okay, add a little contrast, the color grading. See, it's bringing it out a little bit more. It's all about the attention to detail, making sure you're cleaning things up, getting a nice, clean image. Practice, practice, practice. Also, if you guys want me to leave some of these uh, images in, the raw images in a file that you're able to download, let me know in the comment section. If you guys want something done, feel free to you know comment below what you would like me to demonstrate in the retouching videos, and I'll do that. Get to that. I definitely want to have an open you know communication with you guys on the things you want to see on this channel, so that I can accommodate to what you want, and we can also grow. So right now I'm going in with the spot healing tool and cleaning up the nose ring. And then what I'm going to do is go right back in with the clone stamp tool and start uh, getting the you know, residual texture, cleaning it up a little bit. Getting it looking good. All right, so that's a quick before and after. Let's go right back into it get those fine little details around the lips all right there we go go back into it crop it in a little bit more so it's you know the main focus is the face cropping tells a story it just gives a different perspective of what you're going for Let's go back in and kind of clean up that dodge and burn that I did. I did a little bit too much on the nose. So I'm going to go back in with the digital uh, skin texture mix and just clean that up. Let's see what we're getting. Let's play with the eyes, experiment, see what we can get. It's a little bit too much. I'm going to back off a little bit on it. You know, just play around, experiment, see what you like, see what works. And if it doesn't work, you can always, you know, just veto it out. And if you, it does work, keep it. Just to give something a little bit different, make it a little bit interesting, a little bit more eye-catching. But I'm definitely pleased with this image. And like I said, leave me some comments below of the things you want, and we can get to it. This has been a post-processing PPE with... Me, Chris Photo, Chris Kavanaugh. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at the Chris Kavanaugh, and also the links are below for uh, you know my social media and how to contact me. I hope you guys have a great, absolutely amazing evening and uh, day wherever you are and whenever you are seeing this video. And I'll see you guys back in the next video. Peace out.